Good morning, students. In previous class, uh, we discussed about the chemical properties of uh, haloalkanes. Chemical properties of haloalkanes, that is, uh, some of the chemical reactions of nucleophilic substitution reactions and uh, elimination reactions we discussed. And also, that is, uh, which is reaction with metals, especially the Pignard reaction we studied. That is, so when they want the halal case, they are reaction with the magnesium metal, which is false with the reagent, and also the halal which is reaction with the bignor reagent, that is magnesium, the metal, which is false with the bignor reagent, which is having the general formula that is RMGX. And uh, we also studied about reduction reactions, reduction of halal alkanes, use alkanes here. Yeah. Right. So now, in this class, uh, we will start with the mechanism of nucleophilic substitution reactions. That means, how all things, how they are undergo nucleophilic substitution reactions by the mechanism. So, what is the mechanism that takes place uh, the nucleophilic substitution reaction? So, there are the two ways of mechanism. The one is SN2 mechanism. SN2. SN1 and SN2 mechanisms. SN1 and SN2 mechanism, that is. Right. So, what is this uh, SN1 mechanism here? In this nucleophilic substitution reaction, only the one molecule which is can be involved. That means the rate of uh, reaction of nucleophilic substitution reaction, which involves the only concentration of, uh, which depend upon the only concentration of one uh, term, one reactive term, which is called. One reactive term that is so one can indicate here unimolecular, n can indicate here nucleophilic, and s can indicate a substitution reaction. Unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction. And what is that here? SN2 mechanism bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reactions. Like, so in this, uh, we, we will start with that SN2 mechanism. So what is the SN2 reaction is here, SN2 reaction. I told already in previous class only, which is a, that is a nucleophilic substitution reaction in which uh, the rate depends upon both the concentration of uh, uh, alkyl halide and nucleophile. Both the concentrations of nucleophiles and nucleophile and uh, alkyl halide. So that is called SN2 reaction here. So just uh, I took one of the example for you that is uh, CH3Cl methyl chloride. Whenever the treated with this aqueous sodium hydroxide, so in the aqueous sodium hydroxide, that is OH minus is a nucleophile. So we OH minus nucleophile is uh, substitute the Cl minus. Then the CL minus is new from halo alkyl that is methyl chloride, which is used here, which gives here methyl alcohol CH3OH plus NaBr is a byproduct. Already you know this already the reaction. Just this reaction by SN2 mechanism, how it is going on, that we have to study now. Which is by SN2 mechanism, how it is going on. So what is SN2 mechanism here? That in this the nucleophilic substitution reaction, that is uh, the rate which is depends upon the rate, and the rate which is speed, which is much more speed about the rate information. We will study the more and more information and about the rate and uh, what is the rate of units. Everything we will study about the in the what is it, chemical kinetics chapter, that is a physical chemistry chapter, we will study that is about that. So, See now that the rate of this nucleophilic substitution reaction, which is uh, directly proportional to, which is both the concentration of alkyl halide, alkyl halide. In the case of this, what is present alkyl halide? In the case of this alkyl halide, what is present? We have to take here CH3Cl and the concentration of what is it now? OH minus. Both the concentration of alkyl halide and nucleophile. Any two will depend on the way and then the speed, that means velocity of that nucleophilic substitution reaction, which depends upon the both the concentration of alkyl halide and the nucleophile. That's why rate we also write rate is simply just R small r is equal to 
K into concentration of alkyl halide. Nothing but in the case of this methyl chloride and alkyl halide and nucleophile. Alkyl halide provides a now nucleophile, which is the concentration of alkyl halide and nucleophile. I told that already, which is uh, the nucleophile, uh, the, uh, the concentration should be expressed in the square bracket. Yes. Right? So that's why it follows, it follows, it follows, it follows a second order kinetics. It follows a second order kinetics. Kinesis is nothing but movement, which is a chemical movement, is also called kinetic. It follows the second order, that means because of the both the, the, the rate, which are rate of this uh, nucleophilic substitution reaction, which depends upon the, both the concentration of alkyl halide and the nucleophile. And the yellow reacting species will depend on the rate and the yellow concentration will yield the what they are present in the uh, reacting species uh, in the nucleophilic substitution reaction of SN2. Then on that both the concentration that depends that reaction is called, which is called SN2 reaction. That is, so that's why which follows the second order, which follows the second order kinetics here, which is right. And we have to see that the main mechanism of SN2 here. What is that mechanism of SN2 here? Just mechanism. Just listen carefully. Just you have to understand what is here, right? So what is that SN2 mechanism and how it takes place here? Just and in three dimensional, just one paper according to textbook, Kensaki textbook, the given methyl chloride is the best example. Right. So, rate of SN2 reaction is more for methyl chloride than other halos, than halo, other halo gains, which are big. Just see, and uh, which is the uh, here hydrogen, just which is a Br, sorry, Cl, then. And which is that uh, and three dimensional structure of this, which is and this is called solid wedge. And the hydrogen is uh, hydrogen, the hydrogen which is and which is the carbon, right? The center one is a carbon, and carbon attached to three hydrogen atoms. One, two, three. Three hydrogen atoms are here. Then now the CL is attached to this, the CL is present here, right, which is called the CL, right. So now the CL is attached here, right. So what is the mechanism here? Once you observe that reaction. See now the, for this OH minus 6 nucleophile is attached, OH minus nucleophile, for this, plus OH minus. So minus you have to write here, on the oxygen you have to write the OH. Sorry, on the oxygen you have to write from my negative charge, which is right. So the nucleophile from this reaction just the methyl chloride took here, the methyl chloride and the plus what is that written here? OH minus here. The nucleophile is coming to attack from the rear side, from the back side of the methyl chloride. So now which is the nucleophile is comes to attack here, which is right. Now and which forms a transition state here. What is the forms here? Transition state. And in transition state, the partial bond is formed between uh, between oxygen, between oxygen and the carbon. I write a dotted line. I write a dotted line, which is uh, C. But next, uh, uh, which is also the partial bond is formed between uh, carbon and chlorine. Carbon and uh, chlorine. And uh, these three hydrogen atoms are they are in the one plane only, which is exactly. That hydrogen, now this is called hydrogen and which is called solid wedge. Hydrogen and hydrogen. We will set it like a umbrella structure, which is and which is a negative charge, partial negative. We are also writing it is a partial negative, which is called the transition state. The transition state, right. Then which is the transition state. From the transition state, uh, the Cl minus is used, and uh, which is forms a stable product uh, that is, uh, which forms the stable product, which is the stable product is formed here. The hydrogen, then this bond is goes like this, just H, and which is the right 
solid weight and dashed weight will be used here and is H and the OH is the dashed weight. Plus Cl minus, which is called methyl alcohol. Methyl alcohol. Listen, just carefully listen, just you have to understand this. So listen, just what is the mechanism? See, OH minus nucleophile, OH minus nucleophile, which is attached to the methyl chloride, methyl chloride, this is the methyl chloride one. See so that this is a carbon and see here, just one more very to write that is a H, which is a H, which is a H plus what is the, what is present here, OH minus. Then that OH minus is coming to a dissolve this here, which is a carbon and carbon center, chlorine and ether. Hydrogen, hydrogen, three hydrogens are present. Ether, chlorine, hydrogen, and sulfur. That is how okay. Then the nucleophile, which is OH minus, on the oxygen negative charge, how to write? Must have shift because which is negative charge is developed from the NaOH, which is O on the oxygen only. That is so the nucleophile, nucleophile which is attached to the rare side from the rare side of the ether chloride, which is attached. Now, so whenever the nucleophile comes to attack here, the nucleophile but you go get a chart the only the bond cellular sort of grow over the paper for the air bonds. So one, two, three, three, these three bonds of carbon and hydrogen. So whenever the nucleophile is comes to attack to the right the rare side, black side of the methyl chloride, then these three hydrogen bonds with carbon and which is uh, apart from who apart from each other because nucleophile but that is the yellow so grow over the paper. Right. So now, do the work of the then the OH minus nucleophile is comes to attack uh, to this carbon, then which this forms between the carbon and oxygen the partial bond, which is, so partial bond is formed between carbon and the oxygen. That means I have written a dotted line, which indicates the partial bond, which is, that means this between the carbon and oxygen ready to form the bond, and the bond can also for partial bond can also form in the transition state between carbon and the chlorine. Carbon and the chlorine. The partial bond is formed between carbon and chlorine, right? In transition state. See, nucleophile bond, nucleophile bond, the rare side and the back side of the OH minus nucleophile comes to attack to the uh, attack to the methyl chloride from the back side. Then these three bonds of carbon and hydrogen can settled, can uh, uh, move from, apart from each other. So, the move on the that is, uh, which is called these three bonds, they are uh, present in the one plane, and which is carbon hydrogen, carbon hydrogen, carbon hydrogen. And uh, like this, once you observe that, which is called uh, OH, right, and dotted line, then C, and hydrogen, which is a hydrogen, which is hydrogen, then which is a C here. And this only this both are same. In the, this is the three dimensional structure, and which is called just uh, normal structure, which is called like right? full complete structure, which is right. So OH minus nucleophile comes to attack to the methyl chloride from the back side, which is forms a transition state. So you have one the OH minus nucleophile one you attach at the more hydrogen bonds, carbon hydrogen bonds, and also blue away and water away in this space for you. OH minus. Which one is one the of the then now that form is called transition state, nothing but intermediate state, transition state. In transition state, the partial bond is formed between carbon and oxygen. And also the partial bond is formed between carbon and chlorine. But these three carbon and hydrogen bonds are present in the one plane, in the same plane, like we said, like umbrella structure. And this configuration is also called inversion configuration. Inversion configuration. This configuration is also called what is this? Sir? Inversion configuration. So the settled whenever the nucleophile comes to attack, so attack to the methyl chloride, which is settled like which settled like the umbrella here. So in the transition state, that state is also called a transition state. I am in transition state, the partial bond is formed between oxygen and carbon, between oxygen and carbon, and also the partial bond is formed between carbon and chlorine. Which is Right. Which is of course the single step mechanism in the single step. There is no intermediate formation takes place here. 
There is no intermediate form by Weinberg mechanism in the SN2 reaction. There is no intermediate formation takes place. The reaction is going on in a single step. The mechanism is going on in a single step only. In single step. So just watch for a single for one at a time, at a time for a transition stage for the in transition stage. In transition stage, the partial bond is formed between oxygen and carbon, and between carbon and chlorine, like this. Oxygen and carbon and carbon and chlorine, which is formed. The meaning in transition stage, and which is partial, there are the five bonds are there one, two, three, four, five bonds totally. Right? We have to understand that point. That means five bonds means two partial bonds and three carbon and hydrogen bonds. The three carbon and hydrogen bonds they are in the same plane, which is right. So now and uh, these three five bonds are the compound that is highly unstable. Nothing but transition state is highly unstable. Actually, carbon balance is to four only. So carbon balance is equal to four bonds in between one day. Which one is equal to one data chart? Aga, only yes to that one day five bonds in that one. In that two partial bonds are two are there. That is carbon and chlorine, carbon and oxygen. Carbon and chlorine, carbon and oxygen. And the meaning which is here. Uh, from the transition stage, CMRS is ready to leave. You will bond that one. Which one is equal to bond? In that chapter, that means you know that the force will, right? So whenever the which one is equal to bond, when coming to attack to the from the right side, from the back side, which is to the car, to this center of the car, one of the metal chloride, then these bonds can that means carbon and hydrogen bond can settle like umbrella, right? That means transition stage. So that configuration is called inversion configuration. That's why the certain mechanisms occurs uh, here through the in inversion configuration, inversion configuration, and also comes transition stage here. So from the transition stage, from the transition stage, which is the uh, negative charge, you know that carbon is here versus negative charge. We also know that OH is negative charge. You know that something that you know you can want to do. From the transition stage, from the transition stage, now the CL minus is loose. Body CL minus is loose because this bond is ready to leave, and that means the bond between the oxygen and chlorine is broken. The bond between the oxygen and chlorine, the bond between carbon and chlorine is uh, carbon and chlorine is broken. The bond between oxygen and carbon is forms. Here, in the case of this bond making, bond making between carbon and oxygen of nucleophile, the bond making between what is it now? Carbon and the chlorine. Now the chlorine is reduced from the transition state, which forms methyl alcohol. Which is called so OH is forms here, which forms methyl alcohol. Will settle like which is called umbrella structure. Which is so force of attraction. Then a bond is present for the bond. So in between that two reactant product, uh, in between that two state is called transition state, which is called. And now the so which is forms here OH, and we don't write HO. OH is the general ligand in both the ring. But on the bond part, the other one is called the ring. Oxygen is the target. The oxygen is making bond between carbon and oxygen, not carbon and hydrogen. You must remember that point. That's why we get here. OH minus on the oxygen negative charge is goes to attack that. And the oxygen the carbon the bond form at the end only, right? Then uh, which is uh, now the uh, what is it? Bond is formed just hydrogen, which is hydrogen, which is hydrogen, right? Plus Cl minus which is called methyl alcohol. That only this is formed. Right? It's both are same. But textbook is given this only, right? And which is how to practice this. And it is the most important uh, in case of the theoretical exams. Always they will ask one question from uh, SN one and SN two mechanisms. This is SN two mechanism only. Just right. You have. I hope you understood this mechanism. Just so. Once again, we discuss here. Just OH minus nucleophile comes to attack to the methyl chloride from back side, from rear side, or from rear side. Then forms the transition state. So when you have the force ring comes to OH minus to attach to the chloride, the bond apart from each other, which is the three carbon and hydrogen bonds apart from each other, then settle like umbrella structure. And that configuration is called inversion configuration, and transition state is forms.
ಪ್ರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಬಂದ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಈ ಬಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದ್ ಬಿಡ್ತಾರೆ ಬಂದರು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅಮೆರಿಕ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಆಗಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮೂವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಸಲ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ಸೊ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ದ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರೋಕೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರೋಕೆನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲೋರಿನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಡಿ ಟು ಲೀವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಬಾಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಅಂಡ್ carbon of nuclear part that is which is what is making ready to bond formation so now from transition state cm minus is used which forms the type alcohol which is cup right and this is about the, the mechanism of uh, mechanism of nucleophilic so essential mechanism by molecular nucleophilic substitution reaction right it is a single step mechanism which is a by molecular nucleophilic substitution reaction two molecules can involve in this right and also Essential mechanism takes place through the inversion configuration, which is single step mechanism. Inversion configuration, which is right. And now, and a few more important points here. The essential mechanism, the rate of essential mechanism, the rate of essential reaction of different uh, uh, what is it? Of different halogens with the different halogens, the rate of essential mechanism, which is favored by. polar aprotic solvents which is favored by polar aprotic don't call the apro polar aprotic aprotic solvent andre essential mechanism very fastly takes place in this type of solvents so what is the meaning of this sir polar aprotic solvent polar aprotic aprotic which the uh, so the solvent the solvent which do not form hydrogen bond with substrate which do not dissolve which do not form hydrogen bond with substrate like uh, uh, which is called th tetra hydrofuran which is so this is the structure of th also see that reason here we just i hope you understood just we know about this uh, reaction this must have should right <coughs> So what I am saying here, S2 reaction is more favored and more speeder. All speeder are put there. They are not done really. All are aprotic solvents. S2 reaction is favored. That means the reaction is speedily occur in the, which is all are aprotic solvents. Like all are aprotic solvents like TH, TH is the structure which is called tetra hydrofuran, which is called is a all are aprotic solvent. TH solvent. tetra hydrofuran it's in th of which is called next uh, dimethyl dimethyl sulfoxide dmso dimethyl sulfoxide which is the name which is ch3 dimethyl ch3 and s double bond o ch3 which is called dimethyl sulfoxide they also write in this dimethyl formide dmf what is it dmf also polar aprotic solvent which is which is the dmf form concentrate that the ch3 and here ch3 and c double bond oh which is which is called dimethyl formide dimethyl formide which is called formamide which is called dimethyl formamide these are solvents only like for take that the ch3 cn you know you know what are aprotic solvent what is the meaning of polar aprotic solvent the solvent which do not form hydrogens Bond with substrate. Substrate means our alkyl halides are here, which is reactants. So alkyl halides do not form the substrate with the these solvents, hydrogen bond. So that is right. So essential mechanism means that all substrates are in one turn. Just the speed of reaction are there. All solvents are in one turn. Speed of reaction are there. And then these kind of solvents are in one turn. Like CH3CL, which is called acetonitrile. We are saying acetonitrile. We also write ethane nitrile. We also write methyl salad. That is, and uh, next uh, CC CHCl3 chloroform is also the polar aprotic solvent. CCl4 is also the polar aprotic solvent. These are the solvents only. Essential to reaction. Bara speed and how it is. Yet this speed and how it is, which is uh, the halogen which do not form with these solvents hydrogen bond. That means. The polar aprotic, aprotic. That means there is no, there is no formation of hydrogen bond. There is no interaction. So other molecules, other other solvents, other essential reactions, speed up. So 
protic solvent the solvent which is the solvent which is do not form hydrogen bond with substrates substrate is a reactive molecule and that substance that solvents are called polar protic solvent sn2 reaction is favored in more favored in more speed in polar protic solvents only it is right and this is about next term. what is the rate here which is what is the rate of sn2 mechanism once you see that just
here. Here also nuclear fire comes to attack here, which is here also the nuclear fire goes to come to attack here. So nuclear fire in all cases we have to understand. In all cases, the nuclear fire is goes to attack here. Then which is readily forms the bond here, nuclear fire. All the places are more nuclear fire attack chance like that. No need. Here no nuclear fire attack there attack chance. Here no nuclear fire attack there attack chance. Here no nuclear fire easy attack chance there. Which is primary, which is methyl chloride, which is primary, which is secondary, which is tertiary. No need. The rate of reaction is more for more for methyl chloride because because and which one is nuclear fire comes to readily attach here because there is no cloudy nature in it. Cloudy nature is not. Which is 30 percent charges here which is readily here, but here only the one percent charges because so nuclear fire both the latter charges can be group or die here only one group or die here. And the electron cloud is not there. That is called bulky nature. With increase in the number of carbon atoms, bulky nature. What happening? No, the in two groups in the bulky natures. But the in the in the three groups in the tertiary and tertiary only three groups in the bulky nature. So, but the one place go one 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 is one carbon charge. But the only easy carbon charge that will be one 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 is carbon gay. A carbon gay. The only in the in the that means methyl chloride only easy one 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 is one carbon charge. Yet the carbon gay. In the case of this the bulky nature, that that means. Around that carbon, the bulky nature is less. Bulky nature, the electron cloud is less in the case of this. So that's why why such nuclear fire is easy to can attack here, which is then which form, which is can form sir, which is methyl alcohol is readily forms, which is then the uh, in the case of this also the reaction is possible as well too, but what methyl group is present to attach this this three group. So that means cloudy nature, H like that, the bulky nature, cloud H like cloud. क्राउड एच आगे अंदर है न्यूक्लियर फाइल वो जो अटैच आगे का पास चेंज आता है कम में आता है ये भी तो वो एच पर सी क्राउड फाइल वो जो उनका अटैच आता है अंदर है क्राउडी नेचर है इसका इन्हों एच का क्राउड है ये भी सेस भी सेस है इन सेकेंडरी विच इस हाल में जो भी तरफ से अटैच किया so cloudy nature R C L R B R R R C L 
and R F is there, right? Which is and which is the rate of reactivity order, reactivity order of uh, reactivity order of uh, different halogens. That means living capacity from the halo alkane. Yeah, easy to live up there. Alkyl group in the yeah, easy to live up there. Iodine easy to live up there. That means reactivity order which is. So reactivity order of alkyl halides towards the center mechanism. Which is Andre, better living group which one is this? The better living group which is I R B R C L I F R halogens. And I is a better living group. I minus is a better living group here. Right. So which is I minus. And which is Br minus, which is Cl minus, which is F minus getting here, then I minus is ready to you because large size and nuclear force of attractions are less. Whenever the large size, so IOD is a large in size, nuclear force of attractions are less. So due to the less nuclear force of attractions, what happening here? What is happening due to the less nuclear force of attractions? Uh, just uh, the easy to break, uh, that means from the alkyl group, whenever the nucleophile comes to attack, uh, then immediately from the alkyl halide, from the alkyl group, that is, which is easy to leave, that living capacity is more whenever the nucleophile comes to attack, is for alkyl iodide. That means iodine is a better living group, which is iodine is better living group than Br minus than Cl minus than F minus. So, which is about here, SN2 mechanism here. So, this is the order of rate of various halogens towards the central reaction, and this is which one? Order of rate of better living group, better living group from alkyl halide. And the halogen, which halogen is ready to leave when nucleophilus comes to attack to that with halide, with uh, alkyl halide, then which is I minus is a better living group than Br minus, than Cl minus, than F minus, which is right. And this is about. Um, SN2 mechanism, which is right. Let's go with the SN1 mechanism. Let's go with what is that? SN1 mechanism. Right. SN1 mechanism. And what is the SN1 mechanism? Unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction, SN1 reaction. Unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction. So, we have to take the best example that is CH3 and tertiary butyl bromide. You have to take here CH3, tertiary butyl bromide, which is called tertiary butyl bromide. Tertiary butyl bromide. Right. So in the tertiary butyl bromide, we also understand is the two bromo, two methyl, one, two, three. Second carbon having bromine, second carbon also having methyl group, that's why two bromo, two methyl, two bromo, two methyl, propane, two bromo, two methyl, propane. We also write this name. And the common name is a tertiary butyl bromide. IUPAC name is two bromo two methyl propane. We are so right. Then, which is for this, uh, whenever the aqueous NaOH is added, the nucleophile is OH minus. Right. So both are the known, you know, which is reaction takes place. Now the gives here, which is CH3 CHOH. Sorry. CH3 C. See, it's the tertiary, the carbon which is equal to another three carbon atoms, which is called tertiary butyl alcohol. Tertiary butyl alcohol. Tertiary butyl alcohol. We also have this IUPAC name, which is uh, two with one, two, three. Two methyl, second carbon having two methyl, the largest chain is here, propane. Two methyl, propane. Propane. 2O, which is propane, total E, that is E is the drop of alkane, which is 2 methyl propane 2 mole, second carbon having methyl group, second carbon having OH group, that is 2 methyl propane 2 mole, we are right. Tertiary methyl alcohol, we are right. It's just plus, and then uh, uh, Br is combined with Na, which is forms NaBr is elimination. See, and how the conversion.
consumption of beer takes place, that is, let's say you prepare raw wine to consume, you prepare alcohol, is the best example. In the same two, I think the example is methyl chloride. Because methyl group is uh, towards the surface of more reactive in polar aprotic solvent. But uh, in uh, SN1 mechanism, I think the example is which is one? Tertiary butyl bromide I took here. Tertiary group, tertiary alcohol group I took here. Because tertiary is more reactive than secondary. Secondary is more reactive than primary. In case of SN1, I'm saying it is in case of SN1, which is. We will discuss the later that first how it is going on the mechanism we have to see that just right as yes, see and they also ask the question here how do you convert from 2 bromo to methyl propane to 2 methyl propane to all how do you convert 2 bromo to methyl propane to 2 methyl propane to all they will ask in the PVC exams like this how do you convert tertiary methyl bromide to tertiary methyl alcohol by SNR mechanism and uh, they will also ask the question Explain the SN1 mechanism by taking an example of tertiary butyl bromide. A bromine plays a chloride in both of sorry. Tertiary butyl chloride double bond of the castile in the Right? And it is once you see that tertiary butyl bromide to tertiary butyl, which is tertiary butyl alcohol. So, see that what is first SN1 mechanism? A nucleophilic substitution reaction in which the rate is depends upon, that means the speed of the reaction of SN1 is depends upon only the concentration of, only the concentration, that means R is proportional to only the concentration of alkyl halide. Only the concentration of alkyl halide. And then, nucleophile concentration will depend on the SN1 reaction. It will depend on the SN1 reaction. It will depend on the SN1 reaction. That means the rate of that SN1 reaction which is depends upon the only the concentration of alkali halide will depend on the day. Any of which will depend on the law. SN1 reaction. Right? And then, OH minus nucleophile will depend on the law. Concentration of nucleophile will depend on the law. If you take any nucleophile, we have in the nature different types of nucleophiles. I told different types of nucleophilic substitution reactions. Right? And, uh, if you take that tertiary butyl bromide, whenever treated with NaOH, in this reaction, the rate is depends upon only the tertiary butyl bromide, but not depend upon the OH minus nucleophile on that concentration, SN1 reaction. Right? That's why I written here R is proportional to alkyl halide, that is concentration of alkyl halide. R is equal to K into concentration of alkyl halide. Alkyl, concentration of alkyl halide. R is equal to or is the K concentration of alkyl halide. It follows. It follows. First order kinetics. First order kinetics. It follows first order kinetics. It follows first order kinetics because the rate is depends upon only the concentration of one uh, reactive species that is alkyl halide. So it follows first order kinetics. Just the kinetics first order, second order, first order, you know, a sound is getting the sound order, everything, you don't confuse that, just you don't bother about that, everything you will study in the uh, chemical kinetics chapter I told already, right, in the chemical kinetics chapter start I will okay, start other than everything, order of the first order, the second order, the young country go big group, order of the year, but the rate of the year, you will not study what the year, but you will be definition of the year, but you will stay in love. Right. So, the rate is proportional to concentration of alkyl halide in case of SN1 and rate is also is equal to K in the concentration of alkyl halide. It follows only the first order and it takes that is that, is, that much how to remember enough. Right. Then, how it is going on the mechanism of SN1 here? Once you see that by taking an example here which is right. just a mechanism. So mechanism, how it is takes place here? Right. Once you see that, it follows the, it involves the two steps mechanism. It involves the two steps. Step one and step two. This is only the reaction which is, this is just example only. Right. I took the tertiary butyl bromide and plus any other one next example is this only, which is, it follows the two steps. What is the first one, the step one, which is step one. So what is step one here? First, 
just you have to take here first tertiary butyl bromide. This is called the tertiary CH3 tertiary butyl bromide. Tertiary butyl bromide when uh, which is uh, which is called tertiary butyl bromide and the first uh, the first step is called slow step, which is called slow step. And it's also called break in the first step. First step is a formation of formation of carbo cation step. Formation of carbo cation. So what is this here? Formation of carbo cation. First step. First step is also break in the first step. See that? And we have discussed now that is slow step. Here are the really carbon. When compared with the carbon, the bromine is the more you know the carbonic concept. The bromine getting partial negative charge and carbon getting partial positive charge from the bromine, from the carbon, uh, what is it? The bond is broken between carbon and bromine. So due to the more electron negativity between carbon and the bromine, bromine has more electron negative. The shear current attracts attract towards bromine side. That means bromine getting negative charge. Bromine is reduced. We are going to see is new. Right. Plus, right? Then now the carbon getting positive charge because it loses a pair of electrons and used to be Br, which is get Br minus. Now that which is forms the carbon carbonation this is and which is CH3, then which is called the CH3 and it's also the CH3, right? Are you can hear once you observe the carefully, right? Then uh, on the carbon, I will take the plus charge. You don't forget to write this, and which is the most important, which is called tertiary butyl. Tertiary butyl carbocation. Tertiary butyl carbocation. That is the formation of carbocation. Tertiary butyl carbocation. Once you see that, just tertiary butyl carbocation. See, first. Mechanism in the SN1 which involves the two steps. One step is here. Step one is formation of carbocation. It occurs very slowly, that is the slow step and the rate determining step. So, where the intermediate here, intermediate is formed. Which intermediate? Carbocation is formed. You must remember where the intermediate is formed, that step is a slow step occurring. And also, the rate is depends upon that step only. Where the slow step where the step of slow step where the intermediate is formed like carbocation, carbon ion, free radicals, either intermediate form of the day, or step is slow out there. And then cleaving takes place, breaking takes place very slowly. That's why it is forms carbocation here. So which is formation of carbocation takes place is occurring very slowly and also this step is also called the rate determining step but the first step is also the rate determining step is here the rate is depends upon that's why only the only the concentration of carbon halide but not depend upon the nuclear pile I told this is one mechanism this is one definition which is right which is called tertiary carbocation in this tertiary carbocation you know that tertiary carbocation what is hybridization if you take any, let's say, any carbocation, what is hybridization? SP2 hybridization, trigonal planar geometry, which is, so SP2 hybridization is here, which is a SP2 hybridized here, SP2 hybridized is here. But in the case of this SP3, the carbon is going to go, bromine attached to carbon is SP3, the SP3 carbon which is coming into SP2 is here in the first step, right? And coming to see, then you have to take that, uh, which is a nucleo for what is it? Uh, carbocation you have to take here, CH3, CH3 plus, right? The plus, now the nucleophilus comes to attack. This nucleophilus comes to Now, which is occurring very fastly, that is, which is a fast step, that is, which forms the tertiary butyl alcohol, which is called the tertiary butyl alcohol, which forms the very fastly tertiary butyl alcohol, which is called, is a major product is called the tertiary butyl alcohol. Tertiary butyl alcohol, and this is a mechanism, right? Once you see that, just see <laughs> actually the conversion of tertiary butyl bromide to tertiary butyl alcohol, which is involves the two steps. The first step is uh, first step is uh, the first step is a formation of carbocation, 
Pakis ng karbokan yung how it is formed the karbokan yan and then we have to take that let's say with our bromide and between carbon bromine bond is bromine is more into negative the same pair of electrons of carbon bromine which is attracted towards bromine side then bromine is loose because bromine is more into negative then carbon it loses that's why carbon getting positive charge and we are getting negative charge here so which is reversible I will tell you reversible once you imagine that just once you understand that right which is done to this this is done to that and which occurring the very slowly that's why it, which step is the in the same mechanism the first step the formation of carbon step is a slow step and where the intermediate is formed all right and uh, where the intermediate is formed in that step right on that step only the radius depends that's why radius depends upon only the concentration of carbon halide but not depend upon the what nucleophile if you get some of the other things, the carbon can form a structure. The immediate type of OH plus nucleophile one to another charge. Let's say it's better alcohol to form a structure. But so where the intermediate must be remember where the intermediate is formed. In what are the type of step? That step is a slow step, slowly occurring, and which is a rate determining step. Rate determining step. What is it? ये आर रिएक्टेड में ले आर संबंध पटर रिएक्टेड में ले मात्र में रेट अंदर डिपेंड आते थे और कंसंट्रेशन में ले मात्र में रेट अंदर डिपेंड आते थे डेट इस स्लो स्टेप पर रेट इंटर नेक्स्ट स्टेप इस अपार्मो और पार्मेस ऑफ पार्मो का टाइम स्टेप सो इन द पार्मो का टाइम ऑलवेज विच इज स्पीटू हाइब्रिडाइज्ड � there are told different types of carbon cations, which is the tertiary carbon is more stable, and which is the, the stable tertiary carbon cation. In the second step, the nucleophile is comes to attack readily, which is which is fast occur, very fast occur. Then go to which one nucleophile one to which one attach other which is then which is from the tertiary nucleophile alcohol, which is called the mechanism is here. So which occur the two steps is here. So you must remember the rate is different from more the concentration of alcohol halide. Because there the from the alkyl halide, let's say the bromide may you take, then example just let's say the carbon cation is formed due to the what is it electronegative difference space here. That step is occurring very slowly. That is right. So a few more points we have to learn here. Just listen carefully. Right, in a certain mechanism, uh, sorry, in a certain mechanism, so what is the concentration of one to alcohol halide mail and other than different of the data they do, right? Concentration of alcohol halide mail and different. No, the necessary carbon can form a bit. No, no, sir, just CH3, CH3, and CH3, right? And which is called tertiary carbon in the second step, in the first step, tertiary carbon is formed. Then what happened here, which is right? What is happening here? ये ना बताने ले इन डी सेकंड स्टेप एक्चुअल लीवर गई थी निम्के बट विच अक्सर तो डी रेसिमाइजेशन प्रोसेस रेसिमाइजेशन रेसिमाइजेशन प्रोसेस एसएन वन रिएक्शन इज रेसिमाइजेशन प्रोसेस बट एसएन टू रिएक्शन इज इन्वर्शन कॉन्फ़िगरेशन आई टोल्ड विच इज रेसिमाइजेशन व्हाट इज रेसिमाइजेशन नोडी अंदर इवान दिखले यही तर साइड ऑफ दी कार्बो के अंतर्यान में दिखलो पर इस बीच चांस टू अटैक किया कुछ इस यही तर साइड ऑफ दी कार्बो के अंतर्यान यही तर साइड ऑफ दी कार्बो के अंतर्यान बीच में चांस टू आस्क द सॉरी बीच में चांस टू अटैक द कार्बो के अंतर्यान सॉरी न्यूक्लियोफाइल सो न्यूक्लियोफाइल क Right, इकट सारे दर्जा चार दर्जा product के form में बन रहे हैं, that is CH3, CH3, which is CH3, there what is it now? And इकट सारे that is OH is formed, right? इगा, right, right सारे दर्जा चार दर्जे which forms that, which forms that C CH3, there the CH3, which is what is it now? CH3, right? Clear? Then which is OH? C what is and CH3, CH3, OH. No, no. You do tertiary nuclear alcohol, you do tertiary nuclear alcohol. And you see that uh, 
ಈ ಮಾಲೀಕರು ಮಿರರ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಟು ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಆ ಮಾಲೀಕರು ಸ್ಮೀತ ಕಾಣ್ತಾರೆ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಈ ಎರಡು ಮಾಲೀಕರ್ಸ್ ಮಿರರ್ ಇಮೇಜಸ್ ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮಿರರ್ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಗರೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ರೆಸಿಮೈಸೇಷನ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಗರೇಷನ್ ರೆಸಿಮೈಸೇಷನ್ ಕಾನ್ಫಿಗರೇಷನ್ ಸೋ the carbocation formed in the first step for that carbocation either side of the carbocation nucleophilus comes to attack either side of the carbocation nucleophilus attacks to you which forms the stable product that is tetrahedral alcohol tetrahedral alcohol and that tetrahedral alcohol is mirror images to each other which is called mirror images each other when you see the mirror see this configuration with this structure of tetrahedral alcohol is which is when you see the mirror getting this when you see this in the mirror and getting the this here which is so mirror image are improved in other words right mirror image is each other and that configuration is called resimization configuration resimization configuration so sn1 reaction is takes place through the resimization configuration which is right so i am not so discuss we discuss here so what is the reactivity order of reactivity order of various various alkyl halides towards the sabon mechanism and according to carbocation stability basis for the explanation that is reactivity order of order of rate of order of reactivity of order of rate of reactivity of various various haloalkanes haloalkanes various haloalkanes towards towards sn1 towards sn1 towards sr1 reaction towards sr1 reaction and this is the most important which is the, in the competitive exams this is the most important concept right order of rate of reactivity of all various halo alkanes towards sr1 mechanism which is right here. so we have take the first which is a benzylic halides benzylic halides benzylic next allylic allylic next tertiary alkyl halide secondary alkyl halide primary alkyl halide next uh, methyl halide which is called methyl x which is called methyl halides methyl halides right which is called so the rate of uh, the rate of uh, the rate of reactivity order of rate of reactivity order of different alkyl halide so according to carbocation stability according to carbocation stability according to carbocation stability according to carbocation stability based tertiary carbocation is the most stable then secondary carbocation then primary carbocation which forms the most stable product here that is so the rate of reactivity order which is so what is this sir before this sir, allylic benzylic are there benzyl alcohol which is this one so see that which is called benzyl so benzyl chloride is this for example just benzyl chloride is this so benzyl chloride what happening here which is benzyl and allyl both are in the resonance stabilization takes place which are the more stable than which are the more reactive towards nucleophile than what is called tertiary which is so because after losing this just no need it is called benzyl chloride after losing this getting the carbocation right and this carbocation now this uh, electron center here which is getting that uh, uh, resonance stabilization is like this resonance stable here the positive charge is getting double bond ch2 right then here bond is there here bond and this uh, positive charge enter like this then which is the positive charge is getting and resonance stabilization takes place here right and this positive charge enter like this and resonance stabilization takes place here which is and now the positive charge is present here which is the positive charge is present here then 
This is a bond is formed, here bond is formed, then double bond CH2. Then next finally it is uh, and as it is here, that is uh, and this goes to here, then sorry, this is a um, this is bond electron center like this, then CH2 plus, then bond, and which is called bond, which is called bond, right. Once you observe here, see that benzoyl carbocation, the benzoyl carbocation is a resonance stabilization takes place, that's why more, very, 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 the more reactive, which is benzoyl, benzoyl carbocation is a resonance stabilization takes place here. So due to the resonance stabilization, the benzoyl, benzoylic alcohols are more readily towards the cellular mechanism benzoyl they are the benzoyl they are the more reactive then allylic allylic also they are the resonance stabilization takes place once you see that which is allyl carbon allyl carbocation and this carbons then enter like this which is to the adjacent bonds then allyl carbon also the resonance stabilization takes place here right and which is positive charge not it and this uh, double bond can enter like this. I told already resonance state stabilization. How we you can attack the you can attack the illu positive charge for the illu positive charge for the illu positive charge. Illu positive charge is the illu positive charge for the EL plus in one level. And then allylic and benzylic both are resonance stabilization. But to compare with the allylic benzylic is more resonance. More resonance, more instability. Right? In a sense, one mechanism towards benzyl is more reactive than allylic. Next is secondary, next tertiary, secondary, primary, and methyl. So in between these three, tertiary is a more favorable. That's why I took to tertiary butyl bromide as the best example here, which is right. Next, coming to see the one more most important point is here. Yes, sir. One mechanism is going on in that means yes, sir. One reaction is more fast, more speed in polar protic solvents. Polar protic solvents, not a protic, polar protic. Polar protic solvents are like water, right? Like water, like uh, what is that? Uh, polar protic solvents, like uh, we have taken the best example, like alcohol, like amines, amines, primary amines, secondary amines, right? So, either. Polar protic solvents only, yes, sir, one mechanism is a polar. What is the meaning of polar protic here? That uh, the halogen which forms the hydrogen bond with, with uh, the substrate molecule, right, which is called polar protic solvents. Yes, sir, one mechanism is carried out in the polar protic solvents only. Yes. So, yes, sir, one mechanism is a very speedily takes place in polar protic solvents. What is the polar protic solvent? The solvent which is can uh, form hydrogen bond with the substrate molecule. And that is nothing but like polar protic solvents, like example, water, alcohol, primary amines, secondary amines, ether, well, you know, polar protic solvents. Which is right here. And this is about uh, SN1 mechanism is here. SN1 mechanism. The living capacity also, different types of uh, uh, halogen ions, halogen ions living capacity is more for iodine. Living capacity also, that is the same for the SN1 and SN2, that is living capacity for I minus is there, Br minus is there, Cl minus is there, and what is it now? F minus is there, which is ready to neutral mark and halide and neutral phyllis comes. I minus, Br minus, next Cl minus towards SN1 and SN2, which is. Right. Next, the one more is the last final one in the SN1 mechanism. Once you take the example is here, right? So whenever the carbocation intermediate is formed, if it is possible, the carbocation intermediate is sp2 hybridized, it may possibly be rearrangement takes place here, which is according to stability based the rearrangement takes place. I told one to hydride shift, one to alkyl shift, one to methyl shift, and the other that is CH3, 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 then CH2, CL, like this is there. Right. Then, uh, and first step of A form of the third is now CL minus low in carbocation form of the first. First step of what is the formation of carbocation? 
right? Which is called neopentyl chloride. We also write which the name neopentyl chloride. Then which forms the carbon pentyl is this. Formation of carbocation. Now the CH2 plus is a carbocation, which is a primary carbocation, right? Now? One degree carbocation. Yes, according to carbocation, tertiary carbocation is most stable, secondary carbocation, then primary carbocations. Stability, which is the stability here, primary carbocation, tertiary carbocation is most stable. Whenever the possibilities are there, the rearrangement takes place at carbocation. Then now the one to uh, methyl shift takes place here. One, one to methyl shift. The rearrangement, carbocation rearrangement takes place here. This uh, CH3 group can comes to attach here, then which forms that the CH3, CCH3, then CH2CH3 like this. Now that the CH3 comes to attack here, which is CH2CH3, then now the positive charge is present here. Now this positive charge is tertiary carbocation, which is called. So, tertiary carbon is more stable. Tertiary carbon is more stable. Now the nucleophilus comes to attack here, which is called OH minus nucleophilus comes to attack here, which is right. OH minus nucleophilus comes to attack, which forms the stable product is here CCH3, which is a CH3, OH, then CH2CH3, right. But if I expect the product is not CLE with the OH is not the same. CLE is the same as the OH is the same. That is the answer product of the power. Right? And uh, which is called 2 comma 2, 1 chloro, 1 chloro, 2 comma 2, dimethyl, dimethyl chloride. Oh, sorry, dimethyl propane. But when the carbocation first step for the form of the carbocation form, a carbocation and the primary carbocation it is. Carbocation is less stable than secondary and tertiary. So now methyl group is there. One and two position. If you think about it, you can get methyl group shift up. Carbon is satisfied now with the attacking of CH3 plus, CH3 group. Then, now here, which is a tertiary carbon group, which is a positive charge form. It loses methyl group. That's why it is getting the positive charge. And that carbocation is called tertiary carbocation is a more stable carbocation. That most stable carbon pattern for that now the nucleophile is attached to that which forms uh, which is called 2 methyl butane 2 methyl butane 2 ol which is called 2 methyl butane 2 ol which is the major product and you don't write that is uh, uh, which is called 2 comma 2 dimethyl propane 1 ol the product which is you, you write the product is 2 methyl butane 2 ol so what I am saying Whenever the rearrangement takes place, it is possibility are there, must be rearrangement the carbocation. And getting now the nucleophilus comes to attack that carbocation stable, which is get the product, right? Which is about the, the SN1 mechanism. SN2 and SN1 mechanism, I told the clearly. Which is, so, SN2 reaction is a bipolar reaction, SN1 is a unipolar reaction. SN2 reaction, which is a single step can express, which is a SN1 mechanism, is a two steps process, which is through the carbocation stability, through the carbocation, which is forms the uh, product is here. The product is formed in SN2 through the transition state, which is forms the product is here. So, SN2 mechanism is the first, second order kinetics, which follows, but SN1 can follow the first order kinetics is here, which is so right. Like this here, different types of are there, and uh, we'll see in the next class. We'll see in the next class is here, and uh, what they are. We'll see in the next class. Uh, uh, that is the uh, remaining things what they are up to here. SN1 and SN2 here, and about the need like this one to take here, right? Thank you.